Hey guys, a few days ago I published a video about the Raspberry Pi 400. I did an unboxing and first look of this keyboard computer and inside this keyboard is a Raspberry Pi 4B. It's got the same CPU, it's just a higher clock speed of 1.8 instead of 1.5 gigahertz and at this time it only comes with 4 gigabytes of memory. Now check out that video for more information about that but I would say this is an impressive piece of kit. I think the whole package is really good, but it's no surprise that I like it because I am a fan of Raspberry Pis in general. I've had a Raspberry Pi 3B for years and I just think they're versatile and I think they're great solutions, but they're not perfect. There's a lot of people out there that level criticism at Raspberry Pi and some of it is justified, but I think that a lot of the negative comments about Raspberry Pi are coming from people that are just completely missing the point about what Raspberry Pis are for. So I'll give you an example of this. I was on Hot UK Deals a few days ago and I came across this comment. This kind of summarizes what I'm talking about. I own a number of Raspberry Pi 234 series. Each one has been slow, unstable and offers CPU performance of an early seller on. I'm convinced Pi owners are masochists who enjoy computing instability. They ignore the fact that eBay is really reliable second-hand laptops that run rings around the Pi and offer far more programming opportunities. Blah, blah, blah. The Pi is a total lemon. Now, I don't know what this person, you know, why this person bought two, three, and four. If they continually bought a Raspberry Pi and it, they don't like it, my guess is they had unrealistic expectations of what a Raspberry Pi can do. But they are right. When you're talking about a performance point of view, that statement is correct. If you want performance, if you want CPU processing power, do not buy a Raspberry Pi. If you want bang for your buck, like that person says, go to eBay, buy a secondhand laptop, a secondhand desktop, or even a secondhand server from Dell or HP or something, you will get a lot more value for money. And you might even pick up a computer that has a GPU as well. And yeah, for processing power, don't buy a Raspberry Pi. But a Raspberry Pi is not about the power. And you shouldn't buy it expecting it to be this powerhouse because it's not. Now, I realize that a lot of people will buy a Raspberry Pi because it's you know educational, it's a great way to code and all that, great way to learn computers, and it is. But for, for many people, especially adults, I think one of the main reasons to buy it is the form factor. These things, all of the products, and there are a lot of different Raspberry products, all Raspberry Pis, whether it's the 4B down to the zero, they're all small, they're all lightweight, and that means that you can use these in a lot of different situations. You can put them inside things, inside boxes. People you'd put the Raspberry Pi Zero inside game controllers, for example. There's a lot of different things you can do with these simply because they're small, portable, lightweight, etc. Also, people use them because they're well supported. There's a huge community, and there's a lot of community, you know, a lot of those people from the community are helping each other and they're developing variations of Linux and Unix so that you can use this to build a NAS system, you can build a camera system, you can use it for gaming, you can use it for security and everything. I mean, if you look online, you will see thousands of different ways that people are using Raspberry Pi. Ultimately, that is really just about flexibility. You've got great community updates, uh, you know, support updates, lots of people talking and helping out each other. There's lots of accessories and different hardware that are available for the Raspberry Pi as well that allow you to transform what this can do. So form factor, that's all a big thing. But there's another reason that I think a lot of people forget about, and it's about power, but it's about power drain, not performance, about power drain. And this is something that a lot of people forget about as well. Yes, this is small and it's portable, but there's a lot of situations where electricity is a big concern. So you'll see a lot of articles online talking about this and you know there's lots of graphs and different tables showing you how much each Raspberry Pi uses, but the Raspberry Pi 4B, which is the newest kind of version, 2.7 watts when it's idle, 5 watts, 5.1 watts general usage and 6.4 if you overclock it and stress the CPU, etc. Raspberry Pi 1.9 idle and the older variations are even less. You know, it's just amazing how little power these require, how much energy these things use. And that is a big thing. 
In my desktop computer, for example, I probably use about 300 watts in general. When I use my graphics card, that's about 500 watts. My gaming laptop is about 150 watts. But even a laptop, which is ultra low voltage, such as my Dell XPS, this will use about 25 to 45 watts. And that's not a lot as far as laptops go. 25 watts, 45 watts, five. Now that doesn't sound like a big thing. And for many situations, it's not. I mean, if you're only going to use a computer for one hour or two hours today, I don't think energy really comes into it. You know, electricity costs don't really come into it that much. But if you're running something 24 hours a day, if you're using this for a Wi-Fi router, using it for your security cameras or something like that, then electricity is a big thing. You know, I was thinking about maybe using one of these for a VPN or a firewall or just using something to monitor my network so that I could see my internet connection. And that would be running 24 hours a day. And it's a huge difference, you know, running something at three or four watts than it is running something at 50 watts or 100 watts or, or more. Over the course of a year, two years, three years, any savings you would make from buying that cheap computer are lost. Now, again, I'm not saying that anyone should rush out and buy a Raspberry Pi. You just have to understand what these computers, what this hardware and software is all about. It's not about performance. It really isn't about performance. And, you know, as I showed in, in the video the other day, the Raspberry Pi 400, it can be used as a computer. This is a computer kit that I've got, and it comes with Raspberry Pi OS. And it's a nice little operation, op operating system, and it's user-friendly, etc. But... I wouldn't say that's the operating system I would like to use day to day, if I'm honest. But that's, again, it's not the reason to buy a Raspberry Pi. I think the reason you buy a Raspberry Pi is because of the form factor, it's because it's lightweight, it's because it's flexible, it's because it can be expanded through lots of different accessories and you can use this to do anything. So don't expect the Raspberry Pi to be something that it's not. Understand what it's for, understand its limitations. It's not a powerful solution, it really isn't but it's flexible and that's the main reason why so many people love them. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guys. Please leave a comment below. I'll leave a link to that discussion if you want to check it out as well. But yeah, let me know what you think about this guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and until next time, take care.